Hey guys, I am Kenny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to take you on a journey to one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, the Potala Palace in Tibet. But here's the catch, I am not just showing you the outside of the palace, I am taking you inside and showing you six hidden secrets that you probably didn't know about. I have got some fascinating stories to share. So, if you're ready to see the inside of the Potala Palace and uncover its secrets, then sit back, relax, and let's get started. I promise you won't be disappointed. Let me give you a brief introduction to the Potala Palace. The Potala Palace is a magnificent palace located on Red Hill in Lhasa, Tibet, China. The palace has halls, chapels, and libraries. It's also home to countless treasures, such as the remains of Buddha Shakyamuni, gold seals and jade books from various dynasties, nearly a thousand pagodas, tens of thousands of statues, and tens of thousands of tanka paintings. In 1994, the Potala Palace was listed as a United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization World Heritage Site for its unique Tibetan architecture and cultural significance. It's one of the most visited attractions in Tibet, attracting millions of visitors every year. Overall, the Potala Palace is an iconic symbol of Tibetan culture and history, and it's definitely worth a visit to experience the grandeur and beauty of this magnificent palace. Now, I will share six fun facts about the Potala Palace with you. Number six, Potala Palace was built in the seventh century. Did you know that the Potala Palace was built in the seventh century by a king named Songsen Gampo? He built it as a gift for his bride, Princess Wen Cheng of the Tang Dynasty. Talk about a romantic gesture. But unfortunately, most of the palace was destroyed over the years due to wars and conflicts. The palace gradually became smaller and smaller in size. However, in the early Qing Dynasty, the palace was rebuilt and expanded. It wasn't until 1936 when the Lingtai Hall was completed that we see the palace in its current form. Throughout history, the Potala Palace has always been the political and religious center of Tibet. It was where the leaders of Tibet would rule and hold religious ceremonies. Imagine being a ruler and having your office and your church all in the same building. Number 5. The Meaning of the Palace's Colors This place is a combination of palaces, castles, and temples all in one. It's divided into two main parts, the Red Palace and the White Palace, and it has 13 outer layers and 9 inner layers. No matter if you're far away or up close, it gives off a vibe that's both holy and grand. Now, let's talk about the colors. The palace's main colors are red, white, black, and yellow, and each has a special meaning. White represents peace, yellow represents prosperity, red represents bravery and political power, while black represents seriousness and sternness. But wait, there's more. The colors also have hidden meanings. For example, the yellow is not just any ordinary yellow. It's a special shade of yellow called golden yellow, which represents the supreme power of the ruler. And the red color represents the power of the government. But it's not just any red. It's a special shade of red called Tibetan red, which is a sacred color to Tibetans. The Potala Palace is not just a pretty building. It's a place rich in history and culture, and every little detail has a symbolic meaning. So, if you ever get the chance to visit, make sure you take your time and appreciate all the colors and details. Number 4. The Potala Palace is the highest palace in the world in terms of elevation. The Potala Palace in Tibet is located on the Red Hill in Lhasa at an altitude of 37 o meters above sea level. It is the highest palace in the world in terms of elevation. It covers a total area of 360,000 square meters, and the building area is 130,000 square meters. Wow, that's a lot of space. The main building of the palace is 117 meters high and has a total of 13 floors. It stretches from the foot of the mountain all the way to the top. You can imagine the incredible view you would have from the top floor of the palace, looking out at the stunning scenery of Tibet. But, let's not forget about the altitude. At 37 o meters above sea level, it can be a bit of a challenge to breathe, especially for those who are not used to high altitudes. So, make sure to take it easy and drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. The Potala Palace is not just a beautiful building, 
but it's also an architectural wonder. It's a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Tibet, and the view from the top is definitely worth the climb. Number 3. Potala Palace is one of the most luxurious buildings in China. Hey there, did you know that the Potala Palace is one of the most luxurious buildings in China? It's said that nearly 30 tons of gold and over 100,000 precious gems were used to build it. Even the roof is made of pure gold, making it the most golden building in China. One of the most impressive features of the palace is the five linked towers. The surface of the towers is covered with gold leaf, using a total of 3,721 kilograms of gold. The towers are also decorated with 18,677 precious gems, including pearls, coral, amber, and agate. Even in dim light, the towers shine brightly, creating a stunning spectacle. The roof of the palace, also known as the Golden Roof, is located at the highest point of the Potala Palace. It's estimated that over 3,000 kilograms of gold was used to build it. However, it's an exaggeration to say that half of the world's gold is in the Potala Palace. The Potala Palace is not just a beautiful building, but it's also a symbol of wealth and power. It's definitely worth a visit to see the amazing craftsmanship and the stunning beauty of the palace. Number 2. Gold is not the most valuable treasure in the Potala Palace. Hey friends, did you know that besides the gold, the Potala Palace is home to countless rare treasures? The palace houses thousands of artifacts, such as the remains of Buddha Shakyamuni, gold seals and jade books from various dynasties, nearly a thousand pagodas, tens of thousands of statues, and tens of thousands of tanka paintings. It's a treasure trove of cultural relics. In addition to these, there are also precious scriptures like the Prajnaparamita Sutra and the Kanjur, which are priceless. Each item in the palace has its own unique historical and cultural significance, and they are all invaluable. So, while the gold and jewels are beautiful, it's really the cultural artifacts that make the palace so special. They represent the rich history and heritage of Tibet, and they are a testament to the talent and creativity of the people who created them. The Potala Palace is a true wonder of the world, and it's not just because of the gold. With its cultural and historical significance, it's definitely worth a visit to see all the incredible treasures it holds. Number 1. It is said that the exterior walls of the Potala Palace are sweet. Hey there, did you know that the exterior walls of the Potala Palace are sweet? That's right, the walls are as white as snow, and they stay clean and bright even after rain. The secret to this is that the palace is repainted every year. Can you believe that this tradition has been going on for over 300 years? Every year, on the 22nd day of the ninth month of the Tibetan calendar, which is known as the Descent of the Deities, the Tibetan people begin to repaint the exterior walls of the palace. The paint used on the walls is a special mixture of lime and milk donated by local Tibetans. To increase the stickiness of the paint, they add white sugar, rock sugar, honey, and other food ingredients in a certain proportion. To prevent decay and to remove any odor, they also add saffron and traditional Tibetan medicine powder. So, yes, there is sugar in the paint used on the walls of the palace, but whether it actually tastes sweet is up for debate. Regardless, it's a fascinating tradition that has been passed down for centuries, and it's a testament to the dedication and craftsmanship of the Tibetan people. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed my tour of the Potala Palace and learning about its six hidden secrets. Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these six facts about the Potala Palace did you find the most fascinating? Let me know in the comments below and let's start a discussion. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.